Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another exciting edition of Lasagna's Lounge. I'm Lasagna, not Lasagna, bringing you Chaos Skirmish number 190 here today. A big thanks to everybody tuning in on the live stream right here on twitch.tv slash that lasagna guy. Also, a big thanks to everybody tuning in on the replay, both on YouTube and on Twitch. And of course, with me here, as always today, is my good friend Peachy Keach. Petri, how are you today, my friend? I've been better, but I'm surviving. Surviving is good. Yeah, I'm also Red One Captain, so things aren't really looking up, but we'll get there Oof. eventually. Oof, we're just, we're just right out of the, jeez, right out of the gate, Yeah, Petri right out of the pilot. Gate. Just first match, first ship. Wow, okay, we're going to get it out of our Oof. systems, apparently. I forgot something, hang on. Mm-hmm. No problem. By the way, if you That's forgot... That's what I forgot. Ah, yes. <laughs> Aha! There's Petri. By the way, today's <sighs> password is stuffed, all lowercase. Once again, today's password is stuffed lowercase for those of you who celebrated thanksgiving that is probably most of the people watching here today i uh, hope you had a good thanksgiving on thursday uh for those of you in canada hope you had a great thanksgiving last month uh hope the sneak peek was worth it um for those of you watching across the pond we welcome everybody no matter where you're watching if you're watching from across the pond you don't have thanksgiving well we send you our thanks anyway because we thank you for being here today also, uh, high tide mentioning fly high. Why are we flying higher? What, what's going on here? I must have missed something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, I see a new person in our chat. I uh, want to say hello to Jeff from Brotown. I uh, have not seen him in chat before, so welcome uh, to our newest chat member. Welcome to Lasagna's Lounge. Always nice to see new faces in new places. And if you want to join in, you are welcome to join us in match if you're not already here. We have plenty of new people in lobby. In fact, I see new people right here. I see a new player right over there. I see a new player right over there. I see several new players in this lobby. Several of them. Lots of below level 10, so you know what? You're welcome to join. If you have never played Guns of Icarus before, we've had people play their very first match of Guns of Icarus in Chaos Skirmish. Please join us. Come join. Have some fun with us. I swear we don't bite. We might ram things, but we don't bite. Yeah, usually. Hang on. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Uh-oh. Okay. In the chat. There's something. Something. Um, no, there's somebody, somebody requesting instructions in Spanish. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm just not sure who it is, because the person who is talking in Spanish in chat was talking in English mm. a couple minutes ago. I'm like, um, I don't know. Ah, excuse me. So I'm trying to figure out, biting is rubbing with teeth? No. No. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, I see the other thing you were trying to point my attention to. Something else? Eh. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can't, yeah, I can't fit. That one is one that I... Yeah, I got nothing on that one. Yeah, no. It, it's, it was more the question, if you scroll up a little bit, they're talking about something you're familiar with. Uh... Wait, hang on. Which one? You, I'm I'm a little lost. I'm also trying to speed read while while paying attention to uh, uh, chat. Fair. Alfie mentioning biting is just ramming with teeth. I don't know about that. I, I I don't know about. Wait, what? Galleon Pyramidian with Merc and a free heavy gun slot choice. Oh boy. Uh so we got Joust Midians. Ooh. Okay. I would um, say, I, you know what? It's VIP. It is VIP. You're We're going right. to have Joust Midians and probably some, uh, probably some, uh, I would say Galleons are probably going to be, I'd say, pro I'm, I'd probably expect maybe three Galleons, five Pyramidians in this matchup if I had to guess. If I had to guess. 
Joust minions yeah. will probably be uh, five to three in favor of them. Probably. Since I'm the VIP, though, it'll probably be Galleon for me. Probably, but doesn't have to be. I don't want to. I mean, you could go. You could go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just loaded up and they have them. What now? Uh, sorry. No, it's the Omnimon. The Omnimon, Omnimon uh -huh. is my galleon, apparently. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, change that back to the Light Brigade like it's supposed to be. Oh, okay. Um, It's already set up with little heavy detonators. I'm like, you know, I don't feel like changing that. Hey, whatever suits it's you. Free, it's free gun, so. Yeah, the heavy gun is free gun, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that is, that is definitely heavy detonators over there. That's for sure. There's four oh, of yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah, there's a Joust Midian right there. You've got a, you've got, there's, there's your, yeah, see, look at that. Three galleons. Look at that. I'm not surprised. Pix is going Joust Midian. Uh, Fergal, uh, that's, is that a first time pilot over there? Maybe. <gasps> it's a first time pilot. We got a first time pilot. Have we, have we saluted our first time pilot? Yeah, I think we have. There were some those sevens earlier. I think we don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hang on. I think we need to take care of a time-honored tradition here at Chaos Skirmish first. You all know here at Lasagna's Lounge, people like to snipe the live stream, get a competitive advantage. I understand it. I, I, you know what? I, a lot of people say I don't like stream snipers whatnot. I say no, 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 no. Bring it on. We welcome the stream snipers over here. Because here at Lasagna's Lounge, see, we, we, we can have an advantage too. We can snipe the lobby back by cranking up that voice volume in three, two, one. Twitch.tv forward slash that lasagna guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all totally stream snipe in here? Whoa, I don't know about that. Yes, we're You're totally stream sniping. Snipe. Oh, gosh. Hey, welcome, everybody. Uh, welcome. Good to see everybody here. Uh, nice and almost full lobby. Nicely done, everybody. Uh, how, many, how many viewers you got? I uh, can always use one more. If you're if you're uh, if you're not there, go for give him a watch. <laughs> uh, but I seriously, don't anyway, trust uh, my PC to run Guns of Vicarious and Twitch at the same time. Sorry. Yeah, and that's Mine fair. The trouble too. That's totally fair, and that's why it's always available on replay if you need it. Uh, yeah, I want to watch the replay, but um, I'm worried I'm not gonna be able to find your name. Oh. Better. Remembering things. No problem. Pixel's got you covered on that one, so he'll get you a link. Also, if you no, join the chaos. Sure the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, the sun. You... Yeah, while you're taking care of that, I was just going to say if you join the Chaos, Discord, uh, chaos Skirmish Discord, uh, which Pixel will link you to here in just a couple minutes, uh, in fact, he has already got a handy dandy link for you here. Uh, it's got all all of your important links uh, for Chaos Skirmish, uh, the Discord, uh, the stream. Uh, that is my stream on there, uh, twitch.tv slash guy. Also, the Chaos Skirmish website, chaosskirmishsaturdays.weebly.com. Um, so, um, and yeah, Galleons can use Mercuries. Galleons have to use Mercuries as light guns. Heavy guns can be whatever you want. And... Uh, and yeah, the replay is available for a couple weeks, and it'll also go over to my YouTube channel uh, after the two weeks. But the link to the YouTube channel is already on the Twitch page, so if you can get to the tw Twitch page, you can just uh, jump on over to the YouTube channel. So it's all good. And it's kind of like the central hub at this point. Uh, but by the way, have we given our 07s out to a first-time pilot in here, Pixel? Already did. We have indeed. Fantastic. Uh, Fergal is bravely stepped up without even a fuss or a stress. He's going to fly that ship right to victory. He's on my team. You so know what? Better win. I think he deserves a single extra 07. What? No, no. He deserves two extra. Oh, no. I think there's more. Oh, boy. <laughs> yes. Welcome to Fergal. Welcome to Chaos Skirmish. Welcome to piloting. And uh, may Tachi bless your every move and every, uh, and every decision. And with that, the streamer telling every... Oh, we're typing 07 because we're saluting. It's a... Yes. Oh, um, salute. If, if I could get somebody to holler at me whenever the game's starting, I'm trying to figure out how to get into my Twitch. I forgot my password, so just start <laughs> screaming at me. That's okay. No worries. Well, I'll tell you what. I've checked everybody. All the ships are good to go if you, if you want to name them something. All right. Well, Pixel's saying we're all good to go, so I'll just go ahead and excuse myself out of the lobby at this point uh, and return to chat over here. And I see y'all have... Uh, 
Oh, X here saying, hold the phone. I'm on my way. Uh, hold. Yeah, we are going to hold the phone. Water can't pick, can't pick it up. He's got to keep the phone down. He, he's not allowed to pick it up. X here saying, let me in. Password. X here, the password is stuffed. You got time. You can get in. You've got time. There's two spots. Get in. Um, <laughs> Wait, high Tide mentioning have a turkey. Uh, is that a safe, Petrie? What? Is that, is that safe? High What's Tide's safe? Link. High Tide's Link. Is it safe? Uh, yeah, it's a picture. It's a picture. Turkey! It's fantastic. It's beautiful turkey. It's a majestic turkey. Look at, look at those colors. That is a majestic, uh, that is a, would that qualify as a floof? Yeah, I think it's an American peacock, actually. Peacock. Only we eat them, so uh, it's kind of confusing. Yeah. Yeah, good to see everybody here. Let's get us get ourselves started with Chaos Skirmish number 190 here this evening. First matchup is about to be underway on Hazardous Hunt. It is the VIP version of Water Hazard. Of course, Water Hazard, one of the initial maps that started out the game in Guns of Icarus. Ported over to the VIP uh, type maps once we introduced that game mode. So, very familiar map to everybody who plays. Uh, it's one of the staple maps here in Guns of Icarus. We're going to get started here in under 35 seconds. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, hurry up and wait, right? Alfie yeah, saying, hurry up, we're going. <laughs> High Tide mentioning there's three species of turkey. Do we need that many species of turkey? I don't know. Do they... I, I don't know. We'll get to that after the ship callouts. Ship number one is the light brigade piloted by our very own co-caster, uh, Petrie Keish. We've got uh, we've got detonators everywhere. Look at these detonators. Majestic yeah. detonators. And two mercury field guns. Ship two is galleon piloted by Sir Arcta Ar Arcavius II. What happened to the first, by the way? Uh, it is know. a Joust Midian. All, all mercuries there. Ship three is the pyramid. Oh, oh, I see what's going on here. Ship 3 is a Pyramidian piloted by Iron Fields. We got uh, Flax on one side. We got a we got a Watch a Carinade on the other with Double Merc up top. Ship 4 is the... Uh, we're, mm, 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 we got Sprinkles piloted by Mashgun. Uh, we got a Joust Midian over there. Careful, careful, Mashgun. Uh, ship number 5 is the Prime Directive piloted by Sage Tella. Uh, we've got a Mercury Flak on one side, Merc Flak on the other. Oh, excuse me, Minnow Flak, sorry, on both sides with a Merc Merc. Ship 6, it's Bad Luck, pilot by Fergal. First time pilot, 07's in chat, folks. We got a Joust Midian, a brave Joust Midian over here by Fergal. Ship 7, Sargnark, pilot by Tiny Pixel Block, Joust Midian once again. Ship 8, Pyramidian, pilot by Masui. Again, a Joust Midian as those are your ship callouts. Brought to you by absolutely no one. Wah, wah. Sargnark hull broken, but not in any danger right now. Might take a couple Merc shots to the hull, but that's okay. Merc does not hurt too much when the armor's down. It just hurts the armor. However, that armor is not coming back up. Don't know what's going on here. Let's take a look here and see what's going on downstairs. Oh, this is this is this is going to explain a lot. We got OP going on over here as uh, Donutty and High Tide. Uh, working together with the balloons. They're using balloons to keep themselves afloat. That, that, I don't know about that strategy, folks. That, that could be illegal helium in those balloons. I'm not sure. Sargnark, hole broken. Here comes the sprinkles ramming the Sargnark. That armor came back up well in time. So that's not going to, uh, that's not going to do a whole lot there. Uh, the Galleon Pyramidian. I see what you're doing over there, Red. Oh, Sargonark in trouble. Oh, here comes Fall Bram. Oh, the oh the armor came back up in time. Not a kill. Not a kill on the Sargonark. Bad luck for the Sprinkles. Flax landing. Flax landing, but not with the armor down. That means, of course, that they will not do a whole lot of damage. They'll set some fires, but that's about it. Flax missing wildly. They're trying to land those Flax. Not with much success. Oh, now they're landing them. Oh, now they're landing them. Will they get all oh, that Merc? Took it out. That'll take it. Sprinkles picks up first blood with the Mercury. One kill for Red. Well done by Red there. Meanwhile, uh, let's switch over to the uh, the misnamed Galleon over here. Galleon, a.k.a. Pyramidian. Joust Midian over here. Now going to be 
Oh, they, they seem to be, uh, they, they seem to be on the uh, wrong side of the map here. Or actually, no, they're on the right side of the map. They're going for it's bad luck. Bad luck all broken. Uh, it Sorry, might be bad, bad luck. luck. It's just bad luck. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes You the also sprinkles. decide to chase the VIP. Oh, there's our choice. kiss cam. Oops. Let's try that again. Yeah, that is a like kiss being cam. chased. <laughs> Yeah, that is a nice kiss cam right there. It is two kills for red. Two kills for red. None for blue just yet, but still very early in the matchup here at Chaos Skirmish, number 190. Pyramidian and the Prime Directive going after the other Pyramidian. Uh, meanwhile, the, the actual real Pyramidian. Uh oh, here comes the kiss cam. Oh, the rebound. Will they get the kiss cam? Yes, they will get the kiss cam. That's two straight kiss cams for the Sprinkles. All three kills by Sprinkles so far. Uh, meanwhile, the blue VIP is in trouble. They've got three ships circling them. One of those ships being the red VIP piloted by Petri Kish. Petri is moving in. If she gets this kill, no that is five points uh, for red. Uh, no, actually, correction. Uh, red team is now being renamed to uh, Gryffindor. I don't want to be on Gryffindor. You don't want to be Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw? Oh well. Okay. Well. What about Slytherin? Oh no! Pyramidian took it from you. Ah uh, damn. Oh well. Three, three points to no. We're no. It's not. I don't and know. we repeat. Repeat? What? Yeah. What we, we killed Sarsnarge first last time, and oh. then we'll go after everybody else uh, in their turn, in the oh. order that they spawn. <laughs> How polite of them to, to wait their turn, right? Sargnark now in the midst of a, well, let's just say a, a 1v3 right now. Uh, Galleon on the far end, not turned quite right to take out the Sargnark. They're gonna go after something else here. Who are they going after? They're going after the It's Bad Luck. So it looks like, uh, looks like It's Bad Luck trying to jump the line here. Sprinkles moving in on the Sargnark. Sargnark turned their back to the enemy. That's no good right there. You don't want to do that on a Pyramidian. But chasing a different target is one. Uh-oh, Sargnark in trouble. That's three ships tar targeting him. That is three ships. Although, one of them's going to ram into the other. That's going to take him off course. And here comes the Tar. Pixel has engaged in Tar. And off camera, the Light Brigade goes down to the Blue Vip. That makes it six to five. Ugh. Sargnark still in trouble though. They are in the midst of a 1v3. That's no good for them, but they do get away. No, they don't. <laughs> Not saved by the Hydro there. Pyramidian All picking I up the kill. Is just save... All I gotta do is save myself, really. Seven to five in favor of red. Where do you wish is maybe I should have taken some flags? It wouldn't be mid range, I'd be long range at that point. I could just stay away. But I can't. Now, red starting the counter attack. Looks like they're going for the blue VIP here. Looks like Sprinkles going after the blue VIP. Looks like Pyramidian also moving in. No, they're going to switch to the other Pyramidian. Uh, looks like it's going to be a split push here. They're going to go one after the Pyramidian, forcing them up. Now they should turn for the Prime Directive. That they do. They're sending two after the Prime Directive. Uh, Galleon now moving in on the Prime Directive. That's three on the Prime Directive. Light Brigade is out of arc, but they are perfectly safe as here comes Sprinkles looking for a kiss cam. Oh, but they sell, they sell through their own armor down. That's going to be a 40%. Sargnarg moving in, looking for revenge. The beautiful kiss cam revenge. Seven to six now in favor of red, blue, Almost catching up. However, oh, Prime Directive about to go down. Down to about 2% perma there. Prime Directive about to go down and, oh, oh, wait a minute. No, they're still alive. <laughs> still alive is the Prime Directive. All broken again. Still with 2% perma. Oh, it lands in the engine. Oh, they rebuild their armor again. Oh, Prime Directive staying alive with 2% perma. Staying alive here with 2% perma. Oh, now they go down. Pyramidian finally picking up the kill. 10 to 6 now in favor of red. 
That was definitely a good job by the blue VIP. Staying alive as long as possible. Gotta give those engineers credit. Sargnark hole broken though. Good thing they're not ramming the galleon. That would have been a selfie. But Sargnark eating the flak. 11 to 6 in favor of red. Prime Directive is back up now. Red turning their attention to the It's Bad Luck. Red needs four points. Blue's still in this, though. One VIP on VIP kill, and it's all tied up. That's why I'm staying away. But Red focusing on the It's Bad Luck. They really want this first-time pilot here. Wait a minute, Pyramidian hole broken. Pyramidian hole broken. And there they go. Pyramidian kills Pyramidian. 12 to 6 in favor of red. It's bad luck, hole broken. Detonators just out of range, though. Those detonators will not land. It's bad luck in, in big trouble right now. Here comes the galleon. Will they ram on the SA Wolf? The armor goes back up in time. It's bad luck. Trying to run away. One, two, three... I'm missing. No, I'm not. Pyramidian hole broken. The Ramidian getting the hole break on the Galleon Pyramidian as opposed to the Pyramidian Galleon. If you're not confused by now, first off, that makes one of us. Second off, welcome to Chaos Skirmish. And Galleon looking to get the kiss cam open. The armor came back up in time. Prime Directive hole broken. Gotta watch the Prime Directive. If they go down, this match is over. Sprinkle's about to, uh, about to end this match here. They're trying to, at least. They are trying to. Missing with the Merc. Now ramming. Oh, they get their they ram their own armor down. Sprinkle's hole broken. Pyramidian hole broken. Blue has a couple. Uh oh, Prime Directive hole broken. Sprinkle's looking to move in, but that armor comes back up. That ram should not do anything to the Galleon. Good move right there by the Prime Directive, avoiding the ram. It's bad luck still in trouble, though, with 5% perma. They're still not looking too good over there. Hole break on red three. Sprinkles ramming the blue VIP. Not going to do a whole lot there. Now there's the hole break. Blue VIP, I run around real estate. Wait a minute. Here comes, here comes the first time pilot. Trying to protect their blue VIP. They're trying to protect their blue VIP. They have to protect their blue VIP. Sprinkles is making a beeline for the Prime Directive. Prime Directive dropping down. Do they have Hydro? They do not. They have Shoot Fit. They don't have Hydro. So this is dangerous territory. In fact, this could be very dangerous territory for the blue VIP. This could be very dangerous territory for the blue VIP. Running into the balloon. Oh, but they're not down yet. They are not down yet. And, oh, wait a minute. There's a kill. Yeah, no, I'm on my way. And here comes the red VIP. Oh, this could be match right here as the balloon is broken on the Prime Directive. Here comes the Sprinkles. Ramming into them. Will they get the kiss cam to win it? Or will it be a blue VIP? It does not matter as the red team wins the match. A strong victory for Red in this first matchup of Chaos Skirmish number 190. And Petrie as VIP doing, doing very, very well. Doing what I'm supposed to do, staying out of the battle. Well, not necessarily staying out of battle, but you got kills. You got kills, I think two kills, right? Um... Let's see. No, I didn't get any. No, uh, I thought you got one. Didn't nope. you? Oh, okay. Remedian well. sniper. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Well, that's our first matchup here at Chaos Skirmish number 190. We got a couple spots open, so if you want to join in, now would be a fantastic time to do so. That password is all lowercase. It is stuffed. Okay. All right. So, uh, oh, High Tide mentioning one of them is recently extinct. The species of turkey. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. 
Uh, by the way, uh, be sure to stay tuned to the halftime show here at Chaos Skirmish number 190 as we have an important announcement to make uh, during the halftime show. So uh, it is involving uh, it is involving Christmas chaos. Hey. Hey. So, yes, we, we've we've started to do some work on it. So stay tuned to the halftime show. We'll tell you all about it. Mm hmm. Yep, yep, yep. We totally need a, uh, a a video, like a five five second video package to take us to the halftime show. We totally need that. Oh wait a minute. Uh, high tide pulling up a wiki link. Yep. For burb. Yes. Specifically, turkey burb. Yes. Okay. New map. Yes, we do need a new map here. What is our new map? And also new game mode as well. Hmm. By the way, one spot open, so if you want that last spot... Today's password is stuffed, all lowercase. All right, what's our uh, uh, four wins? Four wins. Arcana's one, two now. Arcana controlling the action here at Chaos Skirmish. Well, then. Well, it's King of the Hill. King of the Hill. So there aren't that many choices for that. But that's alright. They're good maps. Alright, so we've got our randomization going at this point. And uh, Steve of War is going to pilot the first match. Or uh, the, the first red ship. Ectors piloting! Hey! You know what nice. that means? Many, many rams. <laughs> GFJ mentioning Magnus controls the battlefield, Arcana controls the chaos. This is true. You ain't wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't wrong. Mm -mm. Yes, Ektir is going to pilot for us here on Red 2. Uh, who's going to be piloting Red 3? Don't know. All right, we might need some people to calm down and chat just a tiny bit a bit here. Captain Zibby's going to pilot Red 3. Captain Zibby. I don't think I've seen Captain Zibby in here before. I don't think I have either. They're not a first-time pilot. Uh, Arcavius is going to pilot again. Second straight match as a pilot. Very nice. So that's the red team. We need to see who's on blue. Yeah, we need to see who's on blue. By the way, the lobby is now full. Question from High Tide. Question from High Tide. What is my guilty pleasure food? Hmm. I gotta think about that for a sec. And Petrie as well. You're, you're getting involved in this, apparently. Uh. Oh, no, Pixel was part of the Sarsnarge. Whoops. Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> What now? Sorry? I, I We targeted Pixel pretty hard. Oh. <laughs> last two. By the way, you're gunning this in this one. Oh, yeah, you're already there. Am I? Oh. Yeah. I was already here. I had to switch again. I switched <laughs> with uh, Sage. Yeah, worked out perfectly. Yeah. But uh, So, yeah, guilty pleasure food. Hmm. 
Hmm. Probably Skittles. <laughs> hmm. Guilty pleasure food. Um, I mean, if you're talking like, well, that's, there's a couple different things for that. Yeah, it depends on how we're defining guilty pleasure. Are we talking about the type of food you see it, impulse buy, kind of just that sort of like, and just nom it all in one sitting? Or is it more like the guilty pleasure is like, this sounds totally weird and whatnot, and yet you eat it? Or what type of guilty pleasure are we talking about here? Uh, cannibalism was never on the table. Alpha Shross could try. Yeah, no, he's, yeah, definitely <laughs> not on the table. Yeah, no. Any and all of the above. Any and all of the above. Okay. Because, I mean, there's, there's home comfort food. Like, I'll make, um, Gunner, thank you, Pablo. I'm just busy doing other things. Um, like, I know I'll make, uh, I'll make chicken erwan, which is a recipe from home. That my mom my mom used to make um yeah that or the macaroni and cheese um that my grandmother makes both of those are good both of them take a, a 9 by 11 casserole dish which is unfortunate but so I can't I can't have them at the same time but I can think about it play a okay. nacho chips and salsa I, I've got I've got one for you Actually, it would be similar to uh, what Alfie just said. Uh, it would be, but it has to be a good bowl of queso. Like, chips and queso. I It has to be good queso. Like, it has to be good queso sauce. It can't just be, like, garbage canned queso. Like, it, like okay. Really well-made queso is to die for. Queso sauce. It really is. Okay. I could munch on it for days. So yeah, I would say that would probably be like chips, chips and queso sauce would probably be my my guilty guilty pleasure. Um. How good? Do tell us. Goat cheese? Probably goat, not. Goat cheese? I I don't think. I don't think I've had any queso with goat cheese. I, I must admit. I don't think I have. But, mind you, the type of queso I'm talking about, like, I haven't had good uh, homemade queso yet. Like, good homemade queso. I've had I've, I've had jarred queso and just don't. Just don't. It's, it's don't. <laughs> but, I've had good queso chips and queso sauce at restaurants but never homemade yet and i want i feel like it's a challenge i really at some point would love to know i would love to know a recipe that actually works give me a second And the puns have started. Gosh. <laughs> the puns have started. By the way, uh, we have uh, Minotaur, Artemis, and Banshee as your weapons, <gasps> and Goldfish as your ship. Did you see that? What? I have witnessed a thing. What did you witness? I witnessed. What did you witness? I have seen. What? What happened? What happened? What did you what did you see? Petri! You're leaving me what? in the dark here. What did you yes. see? You'll see. I'll see. If it happens. If it happens. High tide got it. High tide saw. Water's online, isn't he? Correct. Yeah, water's online. There he is. <laughs> I saw a water login. Yeah, there you go. Ship name being questionable cheeses. Um. Hmm. 
Hmm. Eh, no. No? Nah. Um, I mean, okay, so queso dip isn't really difficult to make. Are you more a fan of a yellow queso or a white queso? Um, I would say yellow queso. You gotta make it hard. Alright. Let me see what I can do. <laughs> Because you've thrown down this gauntlet in front of me, and I must answer now. I mean, you don't have to answer, but, you know. Oh, you yes, choose, I do. If you choose to answer, I mean, you know, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> um, Let me see if I can jump in here and do a uh, ship name thing. Hang, theme, hang on. Restaurant copy. Hey, that so top ship's got a balloon good. popper. Does anyone else see that? Top ship, balloon popper. Uh, which ship? Blue? Yeah. Yeah, Stank if you seal hasn't changed their ship yet. If you're having trouble Stank if you seal, just go to ship loadout. Oh, okay. At the bottom of that screen there should be an unlock loadout button. Okay, right? I can do that. You click that, and then you should be able to choose the different guns on your ship. Mm. And then once you're done, click save loadout. And that will save oh, it. Yeah. Right. Leave it out. Remember to save because I have done that multiple times where I go in and adjust the loadout and then back out and the loadout does not change. Hey, uh, Pixel, what's our ship name theme for this match? Questionable cheeses. Uh, uh, Zappo, can we be uh, can we be spray cheese? Yeah. Ship name theme is questionable cheeses. All right. Thank you kindly, Pixel. Questionable cheeses. Apparently, boar cheese has uh, made a uh, appearance. Uh, mm. Gouda. Yes, questionable cheeses. Fromunda? Is that liquid cheese? What? Shredded Nacho cheese. cheese. Okay, shredded cheese. No, those are not questionable cheeses. Those are cheese like. Frada, it depends. Okay. No, gluten free cheese. Okay. Okay. Have now we're talking. Had, no, 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 not that gluten free cheese. We actually had lactose free cheese at one point. Oh god. It never melted. Oh dear lord. No. It was the why, worst. Like why? it just it became plastic. It was so gross. Why would you want lactose free cheese? You might as well just not eat cheese at that point. Because Grandma picked up the wrong bag when she made macaroni and cheese the one time. Ah! Never again. Never <laughs> the again. The one time was bad. Okay, that probably ranks right up there with getting the gluten, f with me getting the gluten-free spaghetti. Yeah, that was a bit of a mess. That was a poor life choice. Yeah, it it might have also suffered from the same thing that that uh, made the spaghetti bad that one time. Yeah, this one time at 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 at, st at stove camp, we melted all the all the uh, spaghetti. Spaghetti uh... was not touched. It was it was disposed. Not Sepulchre, but it is the King of the Hill version of Deception. Derelict Deception. <laughs> One saw a piece of box that had vegan meat written on it. It was for the lactose intolerance. Now, hang on a minute. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, water is in spectator! Hey, water! We finally have water! Yeah. Probably picking up his phone right How now. How to make? Okay. Medium saucepan melt butter. Cook white onion and garlic to tender and fragrant. Okay, Our I can that. second matchup is on Relic. It's a King of the Hill map, as Petrie mentioned. Uh, it is actually uh, not the infiltration map. It is the um, intercept map. And that's the one it's based on. The intercept map. The one in the tunnel, the north end. That's the one. Yeah. 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 Cheese eva oh wow! Cheese evaporated milk, tomato, chilies, milk, flour, and salt and pepper to taste. No, and no high tide. It's pink. Here we go. The ship call out. Ship number one is the FF uh, FFS Chin Cheese Pig, piloted by Steve War. Uh, it's a minnow fish with side double banshee. Ship two, Drunken Goat, piloted by Ektier. We've got a minnow fish with side double banshee. Ship three, no, 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 Zippy, no. Uh, huh? It's a 
it's, it's a minnow fish with double side banshee. Uh, that ship will be known as Goldfish now. Ship 4, Shredded Cheese, piloted by Sir Octav uh, Arcavius II. Uh, that is a 2 of 10 dive. Uh, it's a minnow fish with double side banshee. Ship 5, uh, Fremunda, uh, Fremunda, piloted by uh, Stink Fusel, I I guess. Uh, minnow fish, double side banshee. Ship 6, Toe Cheese, piloted by Ars Grabba. Oh, minnow fish, double side uh, banshee. Ship 7, Dubious Dairy, piloted by Zappo Dude. I like that ship name, Dubious Dairy. Middle Fish, Double Side Banshee. Ship 8, The Bree, piloted by Ardenti Crux. We got a Middle Fish, Side Artemis, and Banshee. There's your hipster right there. Side Artemis, Banshee. Are those are your ship callouts brought to you by absolutely no one. Womp womp. Bounce. By the way, uh, Blue with First Blood. Yep, we got it. Yeah, that is a red, uh, that is a blue kill. However, red has capped the point. Hull break on the toe cheese. As we need a ship name of the match. Ship name of the match is going to Dubious Dairy. Hello, Mashed Buttons. Good to see you again. How's it going? Meanwhile, the drunken goat getting destroyed by the dubious dairy. Our ship name of the match gets double broken, but well worth it as the kiss cam was noticed. Oh, that's my ship. Oh, Dress. <laughs> oh, that is your ship. Oops. <laughs> I was like, we just fucking killed somebody. <laughs> Why are we talking about people killing people? Yeah, oh, oh wait. <laughs> suddenly, suddenly panic intensifies. Yeah. Well, on the bright side, you've got middle fish everywhere, so that means that, I'm this, fine with that. this on on a map like this, yeah, you will see middle fish. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, wait a oh boy, the kiss cam <laughs> is about to be very strong. No, stolen kiss cam stolen. <gasps> How dare! From Unda and picking up the kill. Dubiusteri now rising up, trying to go above. Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute! Oh, middle. Minnow trying to knock the toe cheese off course and has done so. They bounce off the uh, off the structure. And while here comes Dubious Dairy. Oh boy, here we go again. This crane is our new friend. Yeah, I'm noticing. Oh, we have impact bumpers. This is why he. This was planned. This was premeditated. This is premeditated murder. <laughs> premeditated massacre. Isn't that what chaos is all about to begin with? Premeditated. Oh wait, how oh, god. I'm just gonna stop that thought process right there. <laughs> yeah, definitely had a good holiday mash buttons. Uh, definitely got my fill of food, that's for sure. Also had myself a uh, a war with a turkey, which yeah. we will, which we will not get into. No. No, it was it was it was a bloody interesting battle. times were had by all. It was a bloody battle. Yeah. Yeah. See what you did there. Yeah, you did, huh? <laughs> so I know what happened. Uh, meanwhile, the shredded cheese hole broken. Uh oh, toe cheese in big trouble. I just trouble. missed every single shot. Oh, toe cheese, cheese in big trouble. Let's go to the kiss cam footage right here. Toe cheese about to get kiss cam. Beautiful kiss cam right there by the drunken goat. We even got the kiss cam on stream. We we actually fired up the kiss cam itself. There's a kill shredded cheese going down. Dubious Dairy still alive, not dying at all yet. Yeah. Cause we're awesome. <clears throat> Hole break on the dubious dairy. Shh. But no follow-up. Well dubious dairy is uh lining it up. They're not gonna get it though, they're ah. getting knocked off course. While blue in firm control at this point. Well, was in firm control at this point. Red starting to decap it a little bit. Uh, not fully decapping it. Uh, they need to get more red ships on the point in order to do so. Meanwhile, Dubious Dairy looking. Uh oh, wait a minute. Now red starting to decap here. Oh, here comes Dubious Dairy. They're looking for another kiss cam. They're looking for another one. And yep. They do get it.
ship name of the match not even deterring them from getting kiss cams. We murder. Zippo dude showing no backup in that truck. Uh, Bree is uh, whole broken. Is it Bree or Bry? Drunken goat hole broken. And here comes the shredded cheese. They're going out. Oh, what, what are they going after? Don't know just yet. Drunken goat hole broken, but they get their armor back up very... Well, no, their armor's still down. Thought they got their armor back up. They did not. Looks like it's hitting uh, engines as opposed to permahole. Drunk and uh, all broken once all again. Down. I sense a kiss cam. What? I would never. You wouldn't, because you're not piloting. Oh, they get blown off course. Oh, the shredded cheese blowing them off course here. Good defense right there by the shredded cheese. And Dubious Dairy now in a spot of trouble here. As three red ships, no, three red ships turning for them. Three red ships want a piece of the dubious dairy. But still not going down. Hull break on the Tochis. They're double broken. Will they go down though? No, they won't. They get the armor back up. That balloon's still down though. That balloon is still down. Dubious dairy still alive though. Dubious dairy still alive. Tochi still alive. Red has taken control of the point. Red has control of the point. Blue does not have enough ships on the point. They need to take a red ship out. They need to do so in a hurry. Tochi's looking to oblige. They're looking to ram something. Well, they do a little bit of a tiger uppercut on uh, red three. Not going to do a whole lot there, though as Dubious Dairy is in. Still in a spot of trouble here. They got eight stacks on that balloon. That balloon's about to go down. That balloon should go down, but they're showing no backup in the truck. They're still going for the Drunken Goat. They pop their own balloon. Double break on the Dubious Dairy. That should be a kill yeah. as they bounce. Hashtag the curse is real, as Red still in control of this point, and they are accumulating points in a hurry right now. Tochi's in trouble right now. They are hull broken. They are diving as well. That balloon is very low. Tochi's hanging in there. By the way, want to give a shout out to our newest member of the Chaos Discord. Arcavius has just joined us. Arcavius, hey. of course, is, a, is the pilot of Red 4. So welcome to Arcavius to the Chaos Skirmish Discord. Ramunda has been hull broken. They're being pushed away. Let us keep an eye on Tochis, though, as they are hull broken and should go down any second. And there they go. Red securing the point. Red has firm control at this point. Here comes Dubious Dairy. Already hole broken. They're getting shoved this way and that. Running into the environment. Whoa. But impact bumpers should help them. Red now at 250 and climbing. Dubious Dairy, hole broken. Getting shoved back more and more. Here comes the Fremunda. They're going to move in on the point. They move in as Dubious Dairy gets shoved out. Dubious Dairy, not close enough. Now they are. Now they are. Tochi's close enough, too. That's going to be four ships on the point for Blue. Blue looking to decap this. There's a hole break on the Bree. And Blue decaps. Red will, will no longer accumulate points, not not while holding the control point at least. They need another red ship to stop this cap. Will they get it? Drunken Goat they trying to get it. Oh, they stopped it. 
They stopped it at 287 to 327. That's a 40 point advantage for Blue. Right at three hole broken, dubious Derry looking to move in. That is full uh -oh. system. Whoa, 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 that whoa, whoa, is full whoa, whoa, speed whoa, whoa, whoa. ahead. And. Oh, that's still not a kill. That blue's about to go out. They do get there the kill. Is. There There's it is. There is the kiss our... cam. Was that a double? Uh, no, your ally picked that up. Okay, I was gonna say. That's unusual and new. The, the double kiss cam? Yeah. That would be something. Rarely seen in our time. I mean, it's possible. I mean, <clears throat> we've had this. We've already had the squid sandwich. We've had the the mind drop. I mean, we do the impossible here at Chaos Skirmish. Uh, by the way, now Blue about to hit 400 points and has almost cleared the entire point. Uh, Shredded Cheese now looking to run. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're looking to back up the truck right <clears throat> now. Shredded cheese is pushed all the way back. Oh, here comes the Bree. Oh, oh, here comes the Oh, they're too low, though. They're too low. That's not going to do it. Red now making a move for the point right now. They need to put ships on point right now. Do you look at a block? And they do. They block with a nice ram. <laughs> Body block. And that block hey. means that blue wins this matchup. Well done by both teams as we approach the halftime show. Actually, we are at the halftime show here now at Chaos Skirmish number 190. Water, put the phone down. I mean, he's here in lobby, you can tell him. I just did. I told him, put the phone down. Oh, no. Hmm. Okay. All right. So we are at the halftime show now here at Chaos Skirmish number 190. By the way, I had mentioned uh, that we were going to uh, talk about Christmas Chaos here, which is coming up yes. in two weeks. So we now have our official dates set at this mm -hmm. point. Uh, Chaos Skirmish number, uh, excuse me, Christmas Chaos will now happen uh, December 13th through the 15th says he's already made the call. No! No! I'm too late. Um, but yes. Uh, yeah, Chaos, uh, Christmas Chaos will be December 13th through 15th. Uh, we've got a, uh, a pretty full lineup going on all three days. We're actually going to start off Christmas Chaos uh, on the 13th at 7 p.m. Eastern. 4 p.m. Pacific. Uh, we're going to start off at that point, and I'm going to do. I'm going to. We're going to start it off with something I've never done before. Um, I'm actually going to. I'm going to crack open Star Sector, and I'm going to stream Star Sector from the start. Nice. So we're going to start there, and Petrie's going to do something she's never done before, I believe. Yep. Uh, she's going to play Soma on stream. Yes. So we're going to so have a whole. I normally experience. don't play horror games. Just in general. Uh huh. So, uh, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's going to be an interesting experience. We're going to have lots of stuff planned. Uh, we're going to be dealing with uh, Star Sector. Um, we're going to be dealing with uh, Soma. Uh, we're going to have uh, potentially, uh, instead of a Chaos Skirmish after party, we might have a pre-party. Uh, during Christmas yeah. Chaos. Uh, we're going to have our, uh, SAS RPG. Uh, we might throw in an extra surprise or two somewhere in there. Uh, we're going to have Guns of Icarus for sure. I mean, you're going to see all sorts of stuff happening at, at Christmas Chaos. So uh, uh, we, we, we have not decided on all of the um, donation tiers yet. In fact, we've not right. decided on most of them yet. Uh, that's currently our next, uh, our next to-do on the to-do list. By the way, all details for Christmas Chaos will be released uh, no later than next weekend. Okay. Um, schedule is subject to change. However, 
uh, the donation tiers, the tentative schedule should all be posted so everybody can kind of see, okay, here's what's planned, folks. So you should see a full breakdown of everything. Um, that'll happen, of course, uh, by next weekend so that you'll have a week to prepare. Pat Min uh, asking, will there be singing? That depends. You donate money. I'll think about it. Interesting. Joke's on you guys. I have been in choir since I was like five, so I don't really care about singing on stream because I know I'm good at it. So why don't we make that a donation tier then? Why don't we make it a donation tier with a time ta with a time limit and a payoff at, at Christmas Chaos, uh, Chaos One Ninety Two? What do you say to that? Okay. And maybe with a bonus payoff at RP uh, at SAS RPG, if say they meet a certain incentive. I don't sure. know. So yeah, there you go, Pat. Um, the, the answer is a strong maybe. That's a pretty strong one. Hey, Bluetooth. Hey! And, oh, look at that. <laughs> Actior! <laughs> Jalapeno Potato. Okay, that would be a pilot name that Pixel would use. Jalapeno Potato. Doesn't he grow jalapenos or some sort of pepper? He does, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. Let's see. What's going on here? Hey, you want to do a thing? Do I want to do a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What thing? What thing? That thing. <gasps> you know? I mean, at least ask. I mean, yeah. You, you, you ask, because I'm on stream, because I'm streaming right. You ask. Okay. You ask. Yeah, yes, though. Yes. Mm hmm. All right, while well, Peachy's taking care of that, let's go ahead and snipe the lobby because here at Sonya's Lounge, we understand that people like to snipe the live stream, get a competitive advantage. We understand that. We, we, say, we welcome that. Come on in, bring it because here at Sonya's Lounge, we're going to snipe the lobby back in three, two, one. Thing I was just telling you about. Pixel, I'm gonna warn you, I'm not a great pilot. A smart, a follow instruction, you know good. Does not matter because nope. we, be because the fair point of us are probably drunk. Nobody here. I think R and Y and Koinukin need to swap, and that'll be the right thing to do. R &Y is just go good. Can you please check if Zafodude has sent you a swap slot request? If he has, please accept it. Zafodude, if you have not sent that request, please send that request to Deathburger. Um, Deathburger and Zafodude swap slots, and R and Y Koyukin swap slots. I think I already sent him a request. Looks yeah, like uh... maybe that. Or he's just not seeing it. R and Y, if you can hear me. Kornukin has been chosen as the gunner for that um, blue ship one. So, uh, if you could just swap spells with him, I would very much appreciate it. Everyone else is really good to go. Don't worry, this is one of the best places to learn how to pilot and engineer due to some of the ridiculousness that happens. Do you want me to go through an explanation, my uh, amazing radio voice? Oh and by dear. amazing, I mean passable. It is very passable, but in the best way. <laughs> Pixel saying it's passable. Yes. Jeez. 
Uh, so, uh, for all those joining, welcome to Chaos. We randomize people, and by randomize people, I mean we put them in places they may not be comfortable with. But that's okay. We're all here, and we've all been where you are now. So, when we randomize things, we are going to be randomizing two slots. The pilot and the gunner. If you happen to be an engineer that is put into a pilot or gunner slot, someone else will be put in the engineer slot. So it all works out. We will also be playing with randomized rule sets. This means that you may not be flying on a ship that you've normally flown on before, or gunning with guns you enjoy. That's okay. We're all here to learn. Learning is not fun. Right, whilst I work out why R and Y can't apparently hear me or listen to Swat or Corny Kim, um, I'm going to tell you guys, first of all, say hi to your crew. And second of all, you've got a rule set picked out for you, and it's going to be very, very quick to set up. Ready? Drum Wait, roll, Wait, his please. voice pack is still in game. What? Drum roll, please. By the way, I I uh, I nominate uh, Ektir for uh, for uh, uh, Guns of Icarus. Uh, you know the the tutorial uh, narrator mm -hmm. voice. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I nominate Ektir. If if we ever if if, if the game ever has a, a redo of the tutorial, I would totally nominate mm. Ektir for that. Lockdown. Lockdown! By the way, Alfie, Alfie Tross uh, saying apparently he is number one soundboard master, I think. Ectir accepts. <laughs> there we go. Yes, lock ammo only, but you got anything else you want. Yeah, so gunners are out. You just have engineers. <laughs> Maybe not. That's a terrible idea. Hmm. What? No, I had a thought. <laughs> Do I want to go try hard mode or just fun mode? Por que no los dos? Por que no los dos? Let's see. Oh, see, look at this. GFJ is bringing the uh, a mobula with all mines on lockdown. I'm just saying, that's 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 some serious fun times over there. Uh, might die a lot, but it'll be serious fun times. That's for sure. Oh yeah, that is. For I sure. was gonna I was gonna throw out uh, Junker all mines, but like GFJ is like, no, 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 no. Hold see, that beverage. was my first thought was Junker all mines. Yeah, actually. see. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I was like, that's why I was laughing. I'm like, oh, it's a great idea. I thought about, I was like, wait a second. I need to get like super close. And then I thought about, it. I was like, maybe not. Yeah, but suddenly GFJ's already beat you to it. Heavy guns that go well. Wait, 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 wait. Pyramidians only. What? Mm-hmm. When did this happen? When did what happen? Pyramidians only. When did that happen? No, 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 no. He's wrong. The minions are banned. Pyramidian was a menace. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I'm down with that rule. It's a pyramidian scheme. With my caro fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, R&Y, if you can please swap with Koinukin, he deserves to be on that ship. He's been it's randomized right. there just like it's everyone right. else. No, Koinukin, right. I make the rules here, and if he don't respect the rules, he don't get to be in the game. All right. R&Y, please. Not me. I'm being mm. very nice. Swap with Cornukin or accept their swap request. Cornukin to no swap request. If you don't accept the swap request, then I will be forced I, to kick uh, you to allow him to take his place. Pixelized sent him a message if he could hear us. Well, he responded in the chat, so I know he's there. Deathburger, it's always been a lobby simulator. In fact, we managed to cut the, ha the time in half by not randomizing the engineers. Uh oh. What? Uh, we got we we uh we have a uh, small problem. Uh, somebody is not following the rules. Ah, I see. Ah, uh, now he has followed the rules. Oh, thank okay. you. There Sorry we go. For all that. Yeah, I'm I'm switching now. I'm I'm like brand new to the game, so I'm not really sure. It'll all be good. No worries.
Does this mean we're also Thank you very uh, much, R&Y. But does he have green hair? Don't know. I don't, I don't think you can he do can't that actually have hair. green hair in this game. Well, then that's a what problem. If, okay. What if you could apply the dyes to your hair? Oh my god, I want no, this I'm, now. I'm not, I want I'm this not now. I'm trying to take a spire. I'm <laughs> trying to take uh, something something bigger. Just haven't uh, picked anything yet. Oh, that's mm. fantastic. The po Think of the possibilities. I know. Green hair. All the time. Also, pressing the C key will I talk to your team in voice chat. Just letting you know. Oh no, did I say it to the entire lobby? Let me repeat. No. Okay. No. What? Let's Our, see. My team is, is talking to each other. How is this happening? In the meantime, can I get a ship name theme suggestion for everybody? Elements. Yep, I was what about discontinued that? radio shows? <laughs> Elements. Old <laughs> ship names. Uh, ship names. Religions like Romans or Greeks. I think after all the shenanigans that was this level. Different um, kinds of explosives. Whoever said Romans or Greeks, you reminded me of someone on YouTube, and I don't know who. Animal radio. Wait, show. I've got one. Okay. Hang on, I got one. The name of the radio show, Ectier will will. Uh, uh, will appear on. Host. Well, host, yes, host. Oh, we already... Lasagna, we already know this. We, we've been over this. It's been like a year and a bit. Two years since we've been over this. Listen, 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 listen. I can barely remember Let's last week. Let's do it again. There we go. Mm -hmm. Animal radio show name that Ectio will host. There we go. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Sure. <laughs> That'll work. So obscure, I don't think anyone's even gonna take part, but whatever. We're doing this. Okay. I'm gonna start checking <laughs> the ships, make sure you're all playing by the rules. Oh, I've gotta just check you, make sure you're bringing luck. I mean, we can, we can, what are you talking about? We make up the rules as we go along, right? <laughs> kind of. Okay, that's not actually 100% true. Sometimes we do, but not always. Usually we, we are holding hard and fast to the rules that are set up on our website. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sigh. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I mean, I well, okay. So, I th what I'm saying. Wait, hang on. Where is? Uh... Okay, okay, yeah. You're already on it. Perfect. I was gonna say. Um. Might have to start cracking a whip here. I'm. I've been I've been doing it kind yeah. of off screen the whole yeah, time. I know, I know you have. Like I'm seeing it here. Yeah. I, I'm seeing it. It's like, well then. <laughs> Sorry folks. Yes, we we are we stream Chaos Skirmish. I am also a co founder of Chaos and a co host. Petrie's a mod in within Chaos. Um you know, we've got we got people here handling things, so bear with us as we're handling a a, a, a minor situation. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Take we, it. we do we do the other stuff. Yeah. We listen. Listen. We are a lean. We speak lean. softly and carry the big sticks around here. Yes. Big big sticks. Usually usually attached to a metallic plate, uh, shaped in the uh, uh, shaped like a spade, and and we uh, we 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 poke people with it. Mm-hmm. How does one shoot the gun? Mm -hmm. Yes. I have oh, no oh, idea. Oh, did you did you want me to do the thing? What thing? The the thing that you just asked me, uh, like ten minutes ago. What thing did I ask you ten minutes ago? Uh, the thing here. Oh, oh, uh, no. No. 
No, um, Discord lags when he's oh. in game. Okay. However, he's working on it and looks forward to being in it oh. later when he can. Oh, nice. Hey, we got Clash at Blackcliff here. Uh, Clash at Blackcliff, of course, is a pretty balanced map. Uh, you've got man-made structures. You've got um, you've got natural structures. Usually plays more at the mid-range, <clears throat> but hey, it's chaos. Everything yeah. ends up close range and in your face at some point at chaos. Everything, without fail. Here we go with the ship call-out. Ship number one is the... Uh, mm, eh, I'll say it on stream. Furry convention piloted by Mashkan. It's a crusader. Oh. What? Hang on. So the, the theme for this particular uh, this particular match is... Uh, yeah. What was it? Animal? Animal radio show that Ector would host. Yes. Yes. Uh, also, got... GFJ says to say with for the middle word of his ship because it's, he had to switch to German, unfortunately. Got it. Okay. Uh, double Nemesis. Uh, it's a mirrored Nemesis Gatling Flak Crusader. Ship two is uh, dot dot. Okay. Ellipsis piloted by uh, Black Sabbath. Uh, we've got a uh, Carolfish side Gatling Banshee and Mortar. Ship three. Uh, that would be uh, the Excursion Mitt. Or is that supposed to be with? Excursion with. excursion with Ektir? Yep. Excursion with Ektir, piloted by GFJ. Uh, we got a Spire here, actually. Lumber Spire. With a Merc, a Laser, and a Seraph. Ship 4 is the Pan, uh, Pan's Dimiplane, piloted by Sage Tella. I like this ship name, just doesn't go with the ship theme. I like the ship name, though. Uh, it's a Junker. Uh, Gatling up front. Uh, Gatling Mortar one side. Gatling Mortar on the other. Ship 5 is the White Tails, piloted by multi-build master. Got a Corsair here. Uh, got a Nemesis up front. Uh, got Nemesis one side, Flak Nemesis on the other, with a mine launcher on the back. Ship oh. six. Kiss Cam Booth, pilot by Petri Kish. Uh, wait. Guns. Is P Petri. That's what? an animal radio show. Okay, so I said fuck the rules, and uh... <laughs> do you have green hair, though? Yes, I do, actually. Okay. Uh, Gatling and, uh... Uh, detonator on one side, Gatling detonator on the other. Ship 7, How to Be Broke, piloted by Jalapeno Potato. Wow. Um, that's, that's, uh, that's something. Nemesis Gatling Mortar Mirrored, uh, that's a, um, Magnate. Ship 8, Don't Join the Ship, pilot by Narayan. Uh, we got a, uh, we got a Blenderfish with a side Carinade, Carinade, and... That's an empty gun on gun four. Those are your ship call-outs brought to you by... Absolutely no one. Wah, wah. Also known as how to be broke. Segway. Yeah. Kiss Cam Booth, hole broken. Yeah, 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 whatever. But no follow-up, so you're totally Also, I, I had a captain that's like, hey, you know you're out of position, right? Nah, 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 I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I'm out of position on purpose. Uh, High Tide asking, uh, do you make a, does she make a gun with her finger and say pew pew? Yeah, it's how you shoot the guns. Ah, okay. Uh, Pat Glenn mentioning Rangefinder is pro. By the way, Rangefinder actually got a change. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, uh, Rangefinder actually automatically spots ships when you mouse over them, so you don't even have to click. But you can only do that with one ship. But it's really, really nice. Uh, furry convention hole broken. That is a oh, dead yeah. Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Don't worry about it. We, we're taking oh, care of that. Oh, boy. Uh, excursion Executed with prejudice. Excursion with Exier going down uh, off camera. Don't join the ship. Picks up the kill. Uh, yes, Kiss Cam Booth now moving in on pants to be playing. Uh, this looks like oh no. How to be broke? Picking up that kill. A jalapeno hey, potato. Liz? Picking up that kill. Yes. Check the ammo on the goldfish. Check the ammo on which goldfish? Uh, the eight. Uh, red goldfish. I want blue team. Red goldfish. Uh, ship two. Uh, yeah, it's all, it's all, uh, lock. Okay, because I'm not saying it was charged. No, it's all lock. I just looked at it, it's 100% lock. Yeah, I'm looking at all, at all of them right now. Uh, there are some AI, uh, who will, of course, use the ammo loaded for them. Uh, oh, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute, uh, Jalapeno Potato has charged on that ship, and, uh, Narayan has greased on blue, uh, but as pilots, but still, they need to be taken lock. Yeah, they should. Hang on. Yeah, I just, 
went ahead and mentioned that. Ah! Oh, wait Jeez. a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, excursion with Hector uh, looking to pick up this kill. Oh, but the ram right there by the don't join the ship popping their own balloon again. That's going to be a double break on the bluefish. And the spire will escape. Oh my gosh, it's Corsair. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you were exactly where I want to be, like, at all times. I keep hitting them. So I know it's the right spot because somebody else wants to be there, but still. And that is Red Goldfish, hole broken. Red Goldfish, hole broken. They're going to back it up. No, they're going to get hole broken again. It's really risky. Okay, so that's that goldfish is Black Sabbath's ship, and I know this pilot, and he is difficult. Oh yeah, uh, White Tail's looking to move in very aggressively here. Uh, they're looking to pick up the. Uh oh, excursion with Yektir almost getting home broken there. Oh, goldfish is slipping right above the oh, yeah. air there. Well done by Black Sabbath. Yeah, uh, they've that's, got hydro. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, they've got hydro, not needing to use it though. It's a nice little stamina raise right there. Excursion with Yektir. Meanwhile, getting chased here by one, two ships. Oh, that should be a kill right there. Oh, no, the armor comes back up in time. That balloon is down, though. That balloon is locked. Blue with the kill here. Kiss Cam Booth picking up the kill. That is four kills. Blue, make it five. Five Lock him kills. out from following me. Put him in tar, blah, 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 blah. This is how you deal with a, course, or a crusader. By the way, I never named a ship name of the match. I don't feel like naming a ship name of the match now. Kiss Cam Booth, hole broken. What is it? What is what? Did you just name me to end the match? No, I did not. I said I'm not going to name a ship name of the match. Okay. Because I don't feel like it now. All right, fair. Whatever. <laughs> a white tail's uh, almost hole broken. I wasn't going to name your ship ship name of the match anyway. Okay. I was going to name GFJ's ship ship name of the match, but I've chosen not to. Hands Demi playing hole broken and goes down. Fuck. Six kills for blue. Oh, but there's a kill right there. Furry Convention getting a kill against the White Tails. Smush. Is this is a blank shit shit in the match? It's not blank, it's ellipsis. Oh hi GFJ. I mean, if he wants it, I'll name him ship name of the match. Oh, he's whole broken though. He's whole broken. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Kiss Cam Booth uh, ricocheting like crazy over there. On purpose. Uh, exertion. Uh oh, here comes Blue though. That's a ram right there into the balloon. That's seven perfect. for Blue. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So it is the blank ship, that ship name of the match. Uh, shh, well, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. How to be broke, almost all broken. Uh, now I kind of want to name how to be broke ship name of the match, but then again, that's not fair to Ektir. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that to Ektir. How to be broke, now going down. Four kills for red. Okay, okay, GFJ, there you go. And I've named you ship name of the match. There you go. Are you happy? Sure. Yeah, 
There you go. By the way, uh, as we've had this uh, mini debate, I have achieved something. <laughs> Red with five kills now, by the way. Uh, we'll be pointing that out as uh, Pan's been playing, looking to move in on the Kiss Cam booth. Oh, White Tails looking to ram oh, the freaking convention. What is on that junker? I'm pretty sure this might be. Uh, uh, oh, Flax going out. Free convention almost down. Oh, shoot. Kiss Cam booth almost down. We're going to stay yep. right here at the White Tails, though. We're going to try to watch both sides, but man, this is going to get interesting here. Kiss Cam booth looking to dodge. Free convention looking to dodge. Kiss Cam Booth appears to be doing a little bit better job dodging than the uh, Furry Convention. White Tail's hole broken, though. <laughs> I don't want to fight either of these ships. White Tail's hole broken. Seraph's entering the White Tail's. Furry Convention's in trouble. Here comes the Kiss Cam Booth. The DPS race Gatling picks it up. Eight kills for blue. Kiss Cam Booth now looking to move in on the excursion with Ectier. Now who's moving in on the White Tails? That is Pan's Demi Plane moving in on the White Tails. We're gonna watch over oh, here uh, as off camera excursion with Ectier picks up the Kiss Cam Booth. Uh, White Tails about to go down. They go down to Pan's Demi Plane. Red is rolling in the kills right now. Uh, they were down seven to four. Now it's eight to seven. Seven in favor of blue. <laughs> Both teams looking to regroup. Looks like both teams have regrouped. Looks like uh Looks like pot shots going out from red to blue. Who is that taking pot shots? Ex excursion with the Actier. Looking to put out the Merc shots. Sounds like Lumbers now. We got from the excursion with that here. I believe that is a Lumber Spire. Yes, it is. Hmm. I see you sneaky people trying to bring bring uh, different ammos in here. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. I see Who you. else? I see, I see somebody on, uh, on GFJ's ship, actually. Oh, for shame. Kotek. Kotek. Shame on you. Shame on you, sir. Is that the charge demo? No, somebody, somebody was reporting Junker had uh, had somebody with charge uh, demo. No, Junker does not have charge demo. GFJ had a late join. Oh, well, that explains it. Okay, yeah. that explains it. Late join. Well, here comes the don't join the ship. They're moving in on the excursion with Ectier. They're looking to move on the back of them. Excursion with Ectier trying to back up the truck. It's and here comes a wild goldfish looking to intercept. Oh, they get bounced off. Oh, they're not getting impeded at all. Blue 8 now moving in on excursion with Ectier. Not even backing up. I believe that was moonshine on that ship. No, it was just kerosene. Just kerosene. Oh, and now here comes Petrie. They really want to pick up the ship name of the match. Here comes Pan's Demi Plane. Looks like they have chosen their target, but have they chosen wisely? Looks like they want GFJ ship. Looks like uh, both ships now going after. Both ships now going after the Spire. Oh, there's a hole break. There is a hole break on the Spire. Will they pick it up? Well, they won't, not yet. Goldfish, red goldfish hole broken. Red Spire hole broken again. And there's the there kiss cam. Go. There's the kill to finish it off. And indeed, the curse is real. That was our third match up here at Chaos Skirmish number 190. That means we've got one more match before we close it out. 
Alrighty. And Pixel, yes, I saw you sneaking in here. Sneaking in where? Pixel snuck into Twitch chat. Oh. Yes. Also, uh, High Tide, uh, yeah, High Tide taking shots at you again, Petrie. That's fine. Best pilot. I've won every match so far. <laughs> Uh, there's one more match. Are you sure you want to tempt the fates with that one, with that statement? It's crazy, King. I'm not scared. Okay. Okay. You did say so far. You did say so far. The true name succeeds, it says Ektir. Yeah. Alfie showing appreciation for Crazy King. I, I, you know what? I like Crazy King. It's a shame that Crazy King has not been a popular game mode within Guns of Icarus history. It really is. Because it should be a, 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 a really good game mode, yet just people don't like it for some reason. I don't know why. I like it. I find it more interesting than King of the Hill, but that's just me. All right, last lobby here. We're gonna have one last matchup. Hmm. Ector asking how many kills they got. I don't know how many kills you got, Ector. I uh, didn't look. Uh, Pablo mentioning has to do with new pilots and experienced pilots. Yeah, with new pilots, Crazy King is a very difficult mode. <clears throat> I would agree. I would absolutely agree. It is very difficult uh, for newer pilots. And if you're an experienced pilot and you're stuck with uh, uh, mesh buttons saying people in general don't seem to like point control modes in this game from what I've seen. Uh, King of the Hill uh, is relatively approved. Uh, change of pace. But yeah, I have noticed the same thing. Yeah. If it's not deathmatch, people seem to... Eh. Yeah, Pablo, I would agree. That that's that's where that's where I think it really is. It's it's not shooty shooty bang bang. It's not instant it's not the instant gratification of getting a kill. Yeah. Yeah. Copious amounts of blood. Simple desires, says Ectier. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, five wins, by the way. Five wins. All right, Pixel is randomizing us here. Wonder what we're going to get. I wouldn't be shocked if we see more Petri pilot. You've already piloted twice. You won both times. Mm-hmm. And once again, just want to say thank you to everybody uh, who's tuning in here at Chaos Commerce number 190. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, one more match to go as Pixel is randomizing our final lobby of the evening. Uh, by the way, do we have a decision on the after party here today? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Okay. Uh, high Tide piloting Red 1. Hey. Which is now renamed to Ed 1. Yep. Who's on red two? <laughs> what, are you, what are you laughing for? Oh, nothing. Nothing? I'll let you know, but it's some tea. But some what? Tea. Tea? Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll tell you. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> yeah, I said knows what's up. Not a good laugh. Yeah, I'm I'm a little worried about that laugh. I'm a little worried about that laugh. What exactly are you planning? I'm not planning anything. I press X to doubt. High tide, what say you? There you go. Huh? That's why I was laughing. Okay. Told okay. you. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm planning on getting popcorn. Damn, I should get some popcorn. <laughs> Either she's planning. I should, but I gotta make sure I'm not piloting. Well, she, I don't care if I'm piloting again. What are you talking about? This is chaos. No. I'm not piloting. You are not piloting. You are engineering. I am. On uh, Mrs. Vinny D's ship, it looks like. All right. So. Let us see here. What is our final rule set? We got five here. So we're going to see what we get. Cyber, Cyber Dragon? Okay. Cyber Dragon. Not a first-time pilot. <gasps> nope, not a first-time pilot. Nope. Ten minutes of piloting. Yeah, Death should be piloting Red 2. Yep, that's correct. Yep, they're working on it. Yep. They'll take care of that. I plan nothing. All right, so Pixel. What do we got? Oh, yeah, we're waiting on the swap. There we go. Got the swap. Okay. Now we can get to the uh, to the rules. What are our rules? Oops. No, no, no. All right. What are our rules? Oh, excuse me. All right, Pixel. You know what? We're going to go ahead and snipe the lobby at this point. No fancy speech. Just going in the side. For that slot. If you could just swap with them, I would appreciate it greatly. In the meantime, um, five won the ship and gun thing. So five things ye shall get. Oh, boy. Oh, golly. Give me a minute, oh. Pablo. Uh, Ednos, uh, click on my name, Jalapeno Potato. And uh, and then go down to uh, swap request. There we go. We've only got one ship, the Spire. For those of you curious, you can find any requests that have been sent to you in the bell in the top left. Thank you so much, Ednos, for swapping. And also, thanks for Cat's Kotek for joining us as well. I think they're quite... Yeah. What are these two ships up there are all NGs? Nice to see you. All right, we'll get so, to it. We'll get to it. For those who are just joining us for chaos, first of all, we do this every Saturday. You're more welcome to join us every Saturday. Uh, we randomize ships and guns and cannons. So you'll randomize ships and guns. Everyone's flying a spire. Every single one of you is flying a spire. You might not like the yes! spire. Yes. Um, and also, you have two heavy gun choices and two light gun choices. Your heavy gun choices are the Huacha and the Heavy Flak Mark II which is the golden looking one. And your two light gun choices are the Tempest Missile and the Light Black. This is going to be very interesting, people. Pro tip, the focus fire. is made out of paper mm -hmm. that's already been put under the sink. Tempest Missile any and what? Any small hit's going to hurt it. Any small hit's going to kill it. 
real quick if you're not careful. So uh, we're talking about dodging, but of course, dodging in a spire is not ideal. So uh, we'll see how you handle. Question is, Pixel, where's the Gatling gun? Where's the Gatling gun? In your dreams, right now. It's in your dreams. Um, you may take whatever ammos and tools you like. Towards me. Thank you for coming along. I didn't even see you there. Apologize. Bye, water. Bye, water. Bye. Review was water. Oh, we're losing water. No. No. So the the four guns you can use are Tempest Missile, Light Black Quatcha, and Heavy Black Mark II. I'm <laughs> sorry. I... It's it's in the text chat. It's okay. Tempest cool. missile, light flak, watcha, heavy flak, mark two. You can mix and match. All right. Those. For those of you who are new, the tempest missile is basic. It's the Seraph tempest missile. It's the big red one. All right. So they are going to take care of their business over there. Uh, they're going to go ahead and get sorted out. And, uh, Petri, if you don't mind, uh, I'm going to step away for just a moment. If you can take over, uh, comms for just a second, I will be right back. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Okay. Are we... Are we snapping the match? I don't know. Hey, hi, Tide, Pat. Are we, are we snapping the match? Because <laughs> if we are, I don't have to say anything. If we're not, I need to keep talking. Can you hear Actier? Oh. Yeah, no, Actier's explaining. Can't hear Actier in the thing. Okay, so we're not. It's not a match. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um. Oh, Cook's here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Name thing. Greek phalanx formation age? What the heck? Really, Pixel? The heck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Hi, Actor. Yes, hello. There's a. Uh... Okay, okay. All right, sorry about that. I am back now. We have a small problem. <laughs> we have a small problem. <laughs> um, how to explain. Hmm. So Pixel has a a, uh, a theme name, but it uh, it has a problem with it. What's that? Don't snipe the lobby, and you might want to close chat for a minute. Close match chat, or yep, close match chat. Okay. Yeah, they're being naughty. Got it. Got it. I've closed <laughs> match chat. Yeah. Um. I'm told not to snipe. The lobby? Nope. I don't think it's PG oh, naughty. They've been, we're, okay. we're moving into weirdness. Uh, okay, they've okay. There have been a couple elements in there that have been a little beyond PG. We're talking R rated naughty in there all night, and it's been a thing. D I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It's fine though. It's, it's, it's fine. I don't, okay, check it's Discord. Cool. Check. Okay, hang on. Uh, no, we might want to change that then. Exactly. That's why things are getting a little bit out of control. Yeah, and I'm please. trying to do damage control. Yeah. I'm going to yell a pixel later. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know why you thought that was a good idea. Oh boy. <laughs> well, okay. So 
<sighs> Let the kids have a minute. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll get started. Okay. So it's I'm all watching good. now for other things. But I don't think we're going to have a problem with that. Okay. It's going to be okay. All right, I think we are about to start here. Yes, five seconds. Close your eyes, think of the turkeys. Close my eyes, think of the turkeys. I don't oh. want to think of the turkeys right now. I don't, I don't know what ammo I have. It's I, probably... I don't, I, I don't want to talk about it. I'd like to talk about the potatoes, though. The mashed potatoes and yams were fantastic. I don't want to talk about the turkey, though. Uh, yes, actually, there are leftovers. No, there's, unfortunately, there, I don't think. Of course think, it's leftovers. Of course, there, yeah, I, d I don't think. Good luck with, 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 with the, uh. You have to fight me for him. Yeah. <laughs> I will end you. She no! Will, she will, no, Alfie, no! She will dual-wield shovels if anyone gets near those mashed potatoes. Anyway, here we go with the ship call-out. Ship from what is the oscillated Bork and Burb, pilot by high tide. It is a spire, a uh, watch spire. Got a Seraph and Double Light Flak. Ship number two uh, is the Levian Rose. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry about that. It is piloted by Deathburger. Uh, we got a Watch Spire. Seraph, Seraph and Light Flak. Ship three is the Altistratus piloted by a Vicious Benny D. We got a uh, Watch Spire here. We got Light Flak, Seraph, Light Flak. Ship number four is the. Um, what is this? The Sheila Motu? Piloted by Randy? Uh, they're dead. Ship 5 is the Tar Stick piloted by Alpha Sierra. Watch a spire with uh, Seraph Light Flak. Seraph. Ship 6 is a Zerth piloted by GFJ. We got a Watch a spire. I'm sensing a theme here uh, with all Seraphs. Ship 7 is yes. uh, the uh, G uh, Gino I, I can't pronounce that. Piloted by Sage Tella. Uh, yes. Oh, there's there's our hipster right there. We got a Flak Spire over here. With seraphs mm. everywhere. Ship eight is a Mr. Cyber Dragon piloted by. Uh, excuse me, Spire piloted by Mr. Spire, uh, Mr. Cyber Dragon. We'll watch a Spire with Flak, Seraph, and Flak. Uh, let's get back to the other. Good Lord, calm down, people. I'm trying to do ship callouts here. Ship four is the Sheila Motu piloted by Randy. We've got to watch a Spire with uh, all seraphs. Do we have ship three up? We haven't even gotten to ship three yet. Y'all have already killed like five ships. Calm down, Blue Team. Calm down. Yes, Blue Team, no chill whatsoever. Here we go. Uh, ship three is the Ulta Stratus piloted by Vicious Vinny D. It's a watch inspired with Flak, Surf, and Flak. Now we've gotten through the ship callouts. Brought to you by. Absolutely. No, there's another kill, apparently. Br brought to you by death. Much death. Yeah. That's what it's being brought to you by. Ship call is brought to you, being brought to you by much death. Hashtag not sponsored. Mm. Uh, uh, Lavia Rose uh, is in a spot of trouble here. By the way, Petri, you are in this matchup, correct? I am you on are. the Alpha Stratus. Okay. Which. Which means that ship name of the match duties fall to me in this case. Tall Stratus Cloud, maybe? Is that what we're going for with this name? Don't know. I, I don't know. I'm sure. Uh, Zerth, meanwhile, about to ram the, the Vian Rose, uh, getting the hole break. No, I just. Uh... Uh, was that actually GFJ piloting? Yes, it is. Oh, Flax landing into the Vian Rose. I'm picking up the kill. That's a good kill right there. Uh, but red with ships on the point. Blue does not have ships on the point. Uh, Lashira, oh, there goes. There's another kill right there. Vicious Fendi D picking up the uh, the uh, capture point. Uh, but blue currently with three ships alive to red's two. But blue has a uh, flak spire, so that's going to mean that they do not do well on the point. That means that their whole strategy is based on getting kills and getting their team in the door. Uh, which could be a detriment long term. We shall see. 
they go down, uh, but they have plenty of time to get back up as there's still two minutes left on this point. Um, we could see some long range kills, but that first that first uh, point was definitely a lot of close range kills. Mm hmm. Bunch of watch spires. Here comes the Zerth. Oh, I think that five. is with. Oh, the Zerth, I think, has. Uh, Zerth, I think, was coming in with uh, that drift sail. Probably. That wouldn't surprise me. Which, by the way, drift sail, I will say, is the best thing to ever happen in this game. At least for me. It's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Kind of deadly, but it's a lot of fun. Oh, it's very deadly. And it is a lot of fun, though. If you have a tendency to hit anything, like I do sometimes, uh, yeah, it's a kind of a death sentence. Meanwhile, tar stick is blue broken here. Uh, blue is recapturing this point. Uh, looks like red has gone way far off the point. Uh, that is not what you want for red. Uh, they have given a free capture over blue. That is not what you want there. You need to be playing the point, red. Uh, we're already moving. Oh, but you're already moving, I see. Yeah. Oh, I see. You got a ship behind us, though. Oh, you've got one ship already there. You've got two. One ship, two ship, red ship, blue ship. Oh, wait a minute. Also, I did bro Bork and Burb about to go down here. Uh, they are stuck. No, they're going to get out of it, but they should go down any second. Oh, no, high tide. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a rip. Press F and chat, pay your respects to turkeys everywhere. Meanwhile, Zerf no. hole broken. 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go. Sheila Motsu looking to get a kiss cam out of this. No, missing. And that's going to put Red in a bad spot because here comes Blue. Blue. They're not going to get this cap as a result of that attempted kiss cam. And Blue should cap this. Yeah, going dead. down. And also the Ultra, Ultra Stratus going down as well. Blue in firm control at this point. La Vian Rose uh, staying far, far away. By the way, ship name of the match. Ship name of the match goes to La Vian Rose. Oh, that flax is landing true. Um. I apologize for nothing, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Who's on that ship? Uh, uh, that's that Arcana and Ectier? That's Vicious Venny D that's piloting that. Oh, uh, no, excuse me. No, that's no. Uh, I'm sorry. That's Deathburger piloting that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm on the Alta Stratus with Vicious Venny D. That, that just suddenly. Like, no! I'm not on the ship day of the match. Don't you at me. <laughs> no, I'm not. But Ectier and Arcana are. Yeah, they are. Blue with a commanding lead at point C. Almost yeah. 420 points already. Here comes the Ultra Stratus. Oh, here comes the Kiss Cam attempt. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Please, no. That's a beautiful Kiss Cam right there. Alpha Sierra getting the, uh, the business into the ram. Alta Stratus now looking for a back to back. Zerth balloon broken. Rimming into the balloon, not the hole there. Spire balloon broken. Zerth almost balloon broken again. Alta Stratus now pushing Zerth off the point. Now Red starting to cap the point. And, uh, and Alta Stratus picking up the kill, but they get themselves off the point. Red only with one ship on the point. There's a kill on the point. That means they will now secure this point, but point D is almost live as blue is moving to the point. Point C now captured by Red, but they're going to be way far behind going to D. You say that. Might be. Yeah, I say that. I'm just launching on the back end of the spire because I'm in charge of the turning engines, the balloon, and the guns downstairs. Hmm. Uh, yeah, well, I, I, I say that because uh, Blue has just arrived at point D. They're not on it, though. Yeah, they are. Now they are. Yeah. Like I said, they just arrived. 
comes the close? Stratus being well, here comes the Zerth as well. Zerth oh, getting yeah. there. Zerth is going to make sure that point stays in the blue column. Alta Stratus now showing no backup in the truck. Going to ram the uh, Genceticals. Uh, they're going to ram them with a Huacha. Uh, that is a balloon break on them. Uh, Alta Stratus. Mm -hmm. Oh, here comes. Oh, wow. oh this looks like it's going to hurt. But wait, here comes the red brigade. They're coming in on the Zerth. Alta Stratus looking to pick up this kill. That is prime kiss cam potential there. They're gonna ram right into the uh, Genesis Globes. Where they ram them again? Yes, they will. They're gonna get up with the point, but they break their own hole. Zerth looking to pick up some perma hole damage there. This is not the range that Genesis Globes wants to be at as Red picks up a kill as they are recapping this point. Blue at 505. Red is having difficulty playing the point right now. Red liking to play way off point. That is not smart strategy by Red. They need to be playing much closer to the point. Now they're starting to. That is, they are out of room right there. Is is Genesis goes? They are out of room. They are against the environment. Will they go down? Yes, they will. I'll just try to pick up the kill. Not a kiss cam though. There's like, our cap. Whew. Finally. Red with the cap now with um, just over a minute and change. Yep. Tar stick, uh-oh, Alter Stratus moving in. That's gonna be a ram on the tar stick. Tar stick living up to their name right now, putting out the tar. It's Alfie. On Alpha, the point. Yeah. Alfie Tross. Yes, it is, as uh, Alter Stratus ramming into the tar stick. Tar stick looking to run right now. Looking to run and oh wait a minute oh Alfie might be might be looking to uh, take play of the game home for this matchup. Tar Stick doing a fantastic job staying alive, throwing down Tar right now. All part of the plan for Blue. Red just realizing what's going on here. They're sending a ship to the next point. I think they realize a little bit too late what's going on, as Blue's gonna get a free cap at E. Alfie playing distraction for blue. Uh-oh. Play of the game potential here for Alphatross. Just taking three ships and distracting them as their team is capping point E uncontested. Yeah, well. Sheila, uh, Sheila Motu uh, getting their balloon uh, barrage there. Blue with the free cap. Six fifty will win this matchup. Still plenty of time, but not much left for Red. And here comes Tarstick. And there's a kill right there. Off camera, uh, Sheila Motu going down, and Vila Rose going down, and that should be the match. That should be the match. I don't see any way that Red's going to come back from this. Unless they can pick up quick kills, and they need about two of them. Actually, they need three quick kills. And they need to yeah. do it in, in about just over 30 seconds. No, and all the source going down. Now that's going to be the match right there. That is match. Alta Stratus. Not a dinosaur. That is match. Blue with great coordination. Alpha Trots with great tar over at point D to secure the win. And that's going to do it for Chaos Skirmish number 190. Any final thoughts before we close out the live stream here, Petrie? Turkey. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, that's going to do it for Chaos Skirmish number 190. want to thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you so much for tuning into Lasani's Lounge here at Chaos Skirmish number 190. For the entire Chaos Skirmish crew and for Peach Cash, my name is Lasagna, not Lasagna. Signing off for the evening. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next time.